One of the loops that we have are condition-based loops. Uh, they're often indicated by the keyword while. Uh, we often call them while loops. Uh, so let's look into that. Formal definition for a while loop is that there's a keyword while uh, that is followed by some condition and then a block of uh, stuff that is being executed. Cool. So let's look at this in Python uh, here. Uh, the syntax is you have while followed by a condition that is again terminated by the colon. Uh, then you have um, you know, uh, indented uh, the, the statement. Um, and uh, you could have an if condition or something else uh, to to break out of the out of the loop, uh, which is something that we'll talk about in a different video. So let's use the example where we run until a new minute starts. We import the libraries time and date time, and we set up an infinite loop. So our condition here is always true. Uh, it's kind of a, a neat trick. You'll use that sometimes, but not very often. We're checking what the current second is. You know, daytime, daytime, give, give us the time that we have now. And then um, we want the second value of this. We print the current second, and uh, then we go to sleep for a second. We wait. And uh, at the end, like when we wake up, uh, we're also checking, was that second second 59? If so, then we break. We break out of the loop, and we're done with it. If it is not equal to 59, uh, then we continue our loop, right? So if we're starting at second 57, we're printing it twice, then this condition is going to be true. We break, and the loop is done. Right. And now the shell example, this is the, uh, the same setup. We have the while keyword. Uh, we test for a condition. Uh, we execute a block. Again, we set up an uh, infinite loop while one. So one is the true value uh, in this case. Uh, we use the Unix state command uh, to get the current second. We print it to the terminal. We sleep for a second. We check whether it is 59. If so, then we break. Otherwise, we continue doing this until we reach second being 59. 